My name is Sudarshan. I have a friend called Ravi. So I'll represent myself as Sudarshan, a node, and I'm friends with Ravi, which means I'll put a line between me and Ravi. Line represents friendship. And Ravi joins a company and he meets this new friend called Chaya. And he realizes that he and Ch him and Chaya both know this person called Deepak. And it so happens that even Sudarshan knows him. Do you see? I have represented the friendships between these four people by points and lines. This is what we call a graph. A graph with nodes represented by V. Let me write that down. Sudarshan, let me simply write S for Sudarshan, R for Ravi, C for Chaya and D for Deepak. And I will write another set E which is SR, you know what I mean, RC, RD, CD and SD. So these five things that I have written here represents five lines here. Of course, SR and RS are the same because in friendship, when S is friends with R, R by default is also friends with S. The first one is called a vertex set and the second one the edge set. By a graph G, we mean the vertex set and the edge set. Given the vertex set, there can be any number of possible edge sets that you can think of. Although finitely many, it will actually be many possibilities. Fine, so now you know what's a graph. If it sounds a little abstract, don't worry. The entire chapter for the next, uh, let's say four to five hours, we'll be discussing only this structure called a graph. It will become very explicitly clear to you as we proceed.